Good morning from Henry and good morning from me from my bed. Ah, oh dear. Oh, well, there's honey under there too. <laughs> oh, look at that. They might start barking in a minute because we've got someone come round. I have a cold. So um, I have checked. I don't have a temperature and I don't have uh, the other symptoms of the pesky little coronavirus. It is just cold, but I feel a bit like pants, really. So, which is why the camera is facing Henry and not facing me. <laughs> Look at that baby girl. Oh, she's under the bedspread, but on top of the duvet. <laughs> I am sitting here, I am knitting and drinking hot tea. I've taken paracetamol. Um, I'm kind of not, well, I kind of am self-isolating in a way. I'm not gonna be going out the next few days because with all this flying around, I don't think it's fair, even if it is, you know, air quotes, just a cold, which is all it is. It's not fair to go around spreading more germs on top of what's going on. So that's that's me for you so later on this afternoon i'm going to go and do some actually i've just realized here sorry you've got a really horrible view there let's go over to honey there you go let's go to the little honey bear i'm going to be doing some quilting later and i'm also going to make some sourdough bread so we will be able to um we will be able to share some stuff oh it's a baby well, i could show you the pictures in my bedroom or in our bedroom so that one there, these are places we've been. So that's Copenhagen, Ooh, the fingers out of there. Paris, Venice, Hannah bought us that picture from London and that one's Edinburgh. You can't really see them terribly well, but um, yeah. Oh, and here is, it's my breakfast. Say hello to vloggy people. Hello, vloggy people. Hannah's also got a sore throat, but you know, so we're gonna sit and feel sorry for ourselves together, aren't we, Han? Yeah, I've got to study. Hannah's got to study, but that's cool. The and economy isn't gonna fix itself. <laughs> and Dad's out there trying to keep the world going, keep the business, no, the wheels oh, of industry hello. turning. <laughs> okay, update. This is about half an hour later. Yep, ripped out the sock. And I can't recast on because we've got a builder here and I've got to go out and infect him. Plus, you know, I look like <clears throat> not a very pretty sight. Um, yeah, I tried it on, it was way too big. So I've worked out I'm going to stick with what I know, tried and tested, 2.25 millimetre needles and cast on 62 stitches um, and that should give me a sock that works. Plus it was pilling a lot and I think it was pilling because the gauge was too loose um, as well. Um, because this is a beautiful no nylon yarn, obviously we need to take that into account. Um, have I got my... So the bale from Kettle Yarn, yeah. So that silk and that yak is gonna be potentially pilling. So I need, I do need a better, a tighter gauge. So I'll be casting that on again later, but that's okay because we love knitting. I'm loving knitting the pattern, really enjoying the pattern. I just need to get the, um, the fit right. I'm up, yay! It's after lunch now. Uh, mega dosing on my vitamin C, paracetamol, feeling better. My throat's definitely better. So I think just some more, a couple more days of R&R &R should be good. Um, I'm obviously taking all the necessary precautions of not getting close to people though. So I cancelled mum and dad this afternoon. Um, 
I've done some jobbies around the house, just gently. So I'm doing a little bit and then resting, doing a little bit of resting. Um, you probably hear in the background, I've got the dishwasher on a cleaning, you know, a self-clean cycle. I've got the washing machine on a self-clean cycle. And I'm gonna work up the energy to Hoover uh, shortly, but I had promised myself I would do a little bit of quilting today. So I'm gonna go and work on my um, home sweet home quilt and I'll show you my progress. I know the vlog, I'm running the risk of it being dog heavy, but I just found a couple of sticks that I picked up, driftwood sticks from the beach a couple of weeks ago. And I just threw them, the dogs found them. Look at that, happy as Larry, happy as Larry. Does anyone know who Larry actually is? with my sustainable len one of the things i may invest in is a mini iron and a mini ironing board that i can use to press my patchwork pieces because that honking great thing is fine if i'm doing that but what i've got to do now is actually I'm doing this with one hand but if I'm doing it with two and it's hot so it's, you know, it's quite tricky to do. Actually, I've got a birthday in July. So I think for my birthday, I'm gonna ask for one of those mini ironing boards as well, because having to set up the ironing board and the iron goes against the grain anyway, but for something as small as this, and then this piece, gets folded back like so. Like that. And I'm gonna do the same the other side. Okay, bit of a fail there because I'd sewed these house corners to that bit. Turns out I should have sewn them to this bit. So I've just had to unpick them and I'm gonna sew them on again. Okay, oh my water's in the way. It's half past six. Um short vlog, I'm just looking at it now. It's probably about eight minutes, isn't it? Eight or nine, which is probably still not that short is it um oh i'm squatting down because i've got the tin i've got the phone on a biscuit tin um i just wanted to show you my finished well almost finished block Ta -da! see that window's a bit wonky on the door and actually yeah there is another thing that I did wrong, but I'm not gonna draw your attention to it because I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So there's still a few finishing touches to be made on that one. There's also all the applique. No, oh, I can't, I'm gonna to have to go back here. There you go. There's all the applique um, that needs to go on. So if we look at it, there's sort of applique here over the, the um, what's that called? Is that pitched roof? I'm not sure and there's trees and there's a mailbox and there's all sorts of curtains in the window, but the main block is done. And bearing in mind, I felt like something not very nice today. I'm actually quite pleased with it. Henry was driving me nuts. He kept laying on my feet, which were in turn on the sewing machine pedal. I was terrified he's gonna lay on it and I'm gonna put my finger through the needle. The needle's gonna go through my finger. But Anyway, that's today's 
thing. I cast back the sock. Oh, my words. I've cast on the sock again. Um, and I'm on the rib. So I'm gonna, I've cast on 62 stitches this time and 2.25 millimeter needles. And that's kind of what I'm confident with doing. So I'm gonna do it and we'll see how it goes. Also, I have been taking my temperature today to make sure that it is just a cold and I haven't got anything else going on. And um, I thought I'd share with you the thermometer. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's what I've been doing because it's the only thermometer in the house. <laughs> when the kids were small, we used to have one of the ones you put in your ear. But um, yeah, that's long gone. So um, yeah, I've been checking my temperature through the day. Well, twice I've checked it and I don't have a temperature. And um, so I think we're all good. Pretty sure it is just a cold. So hopefully tomorrow I will be feeling a little bit better. So have a really nice evening. Um, keep washing your hands and I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.